All right, so like I promised in my last video, I'm gonna show you guys the process of painting my AK-104 clone. So in the last video, I said I was gonna do this once I got all the accessories that I wanted for it, which uh, is almost true. I still have one more major piece that I'm looking for to complete this build. And once I get it, I'll paint it to match the rest of the gun. So the part I'm still looking for is a Zenico PT-1 stock. So if any of you guys happen to have one that you would part with, I need one with the 4.5 millimeter uh, hinge size. Or if you happen to see one for sale, then let me know. The best way to get in touch with me is on my Instagram page, at inferior underscore rifles. So for the time being, I'm just going to paint the uh, standard stock that came on this gun. But like I said, I can match it later. It's a pretty simple paint job that I'm going to do. So to start off, I'm going to do a base coat of Rust-Oleum. This is their camo khaki color. So, uh, Just like in the other uh, paint video I have on my channel, I'm just going to go around, do a couple 360s around the gun, covering all the angles. I've already painted off the parts I don't want paint in, and there is a uh, foam earplug covering the end of the suppressor. Alright, and there we have the base coat. So I'm going to give this a few minutes to dry, and then we'll come back and flip it over. Alright, now that I've got the gun flipped over, I'm going to continue with the base coat of khaki, and then we'll move on to patterning. Right, now we'll just give this some time to dry and we'll move on to patterning. All right, now I'm going to go through with this Rust-Oleum. This is their camo earth brown. My goal here is just to darken up the base coat of tan a little bit. And then after that, I'll actually go through with some dead grass and add some patterning by just overlaying that on a few spots on the gun. All right, and as you can see, just 
a few pieces of dead grass gave us a pretty uh, neat pattern there. So I'm going to let this dry. I'll flip it over and do the other side and then I'll actually move on to a third color. Now the final color I'm going to be adding is Rust-Oleum Camo Deep Forest Green. So I'm not going to like dust over the whole thing with the green. I'm just going to use this in a few spots in conjunction with the uh, dead grass. I found that the deep forest green tends to really take over your whole paint job if you use it too much. So I'm going to use it more sparingly. Okay, so I'm gonna allow this to dry and then I'll flip it over and do the other side and after that we'll be done. All right, and there we have it. So I'm gonna give this about 30 minutes to dry fully and then I'll bring it inside and show you guys the finished product. Right, and here we have the finished product. So, like I said at the beginning of the video, if you happen to know of a PT1 Zenitco stock with the four and a half millimeter hinge for sale somewhere, or if you have one yourself you'd be willing to let go, hit me up on my Instagram page, that's at inferior underscore rifles, and we can uh, talk business. So, anyway, um, that is gonna do it for this video. Uh, the final part in my AK modernization series is going to be over uh, the stock when I eventually get it, and I'll also tell you guys about some of the other upgrades I've done to this gun since part one. So some of you keen-eyed viewers may have noticed that there's a, a few new attachments on this that'll go over later. So anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.